In today's fact file, we look at the common frog. Adults reach a length of around 8 centimeters, and setting them apart from toads, have a moist and smooth skin. Usually a shade of olive or greeny brown, but can be yellow, pink and red. It has dark patches on the back, with stripes on the hind legs, and a dark mask behind the eye. The smell of algae draws the frogs into the pond to breed, as the warmer water encourages algal growth and tadpoles to develop quicker. The males arrive first and start croaking, then latch onto a plump female. In some parts of Cornwall, the frogs start breeding as early as November, and in colder areas in the north of Scotland, the tadpoles can overwinter, becoming frogs the following year. Breeding in ponds during the spring, with up to 2,000 eggs, and spending much of the rest of the year feeding in woodland, gardens, hedgerows and long grass. They are familiar inhabitants of garden ponds, where they lay their eggs in big rafts of spawn. These garden ponds are a lifeline for these frogs. They feed on a variety of invertebrates, such as worms, beetles, slugs and flies, making them a welcome guest in many gardens. This species is widespread in mainland Britain, Common frogs are most active at night, and hibernate during the winter in pond mud or under piles of rotting leaves, logs or stones. And they can also breathe through their skin, as well as their lungs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, you might want to check out the Bearded Tits podcast, where every Tuesday I interview a different person, from wildlife TV presenters, cameramen, zoologists and artists all about their careers. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and why not check out these other fact files here? Until next time, cheers.